Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back or if you're new, I'm Jimmy and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all the puzzles I completed for the month of June. So we've got puzzles that were on my Instagram feed, some that I did videos about, which I'll link in the cards, and some that I just felt like doing. Um, I'll be listing them all in the description box below. So if there's any that you're curious about, don't forget to check there. Um, and I'll be giving you my sort of thoughts and a little mini review on each one. And then at the end of the video, I'll also let you know which one was my favorite and which was my least favorite. So we've got a couple of stacks of puzzles to go through. I've just grouped them according to brand. I think that will be the easiest. So let's go through these three first. So these three here are all from Tanya Weeks Photography, which is an Australian puzzle brand. And yeah, Tanya uses her beautiful photography to create these lovely puzzle images. Um, so this one's called Desert Beauty and yeah, just features all these beautiful, rich colored succulents. And there's just so much detail and texture. Yeah, just a beautiful image. Uh, fairly challenging, but really enjoyable and just fun to put together. Um, and yeah, the quality is just beautiful. Um, so these come in a, I think, yeah, they came in like a Ziploc resealable bag. So that's great. Come with like a little poster and yeah, packaging is beautiful, but the piece quality is really nice as well. So the pieces are like, they are, I think like a sort of medium thickness, like a nice, yeah, nice, uh, nice to handle, a nice thickness. Um, and they fit together really nicely, like not too tight, not too loose. Um, you can pick up sections really easily, which is great, especially doing like, you know, different colored succulents. You can work on them in front of you and then like move them around. Um, what else there? Yeah, like no puzzle dust pretty much. Um, yeah, the pieces feel really smooth and, but they're quite matte as well. So yeah, didn't really have any issues with glare. Yeah, just really enjoyed it. Had a really great experience, pretty much love everything. Yeah, no, nothing negative to say. I really had a really positive and just a fun time putting this one together. So yeah, really, really love this one. And then uh, this one is also by Tanya Weeks. It's called Citrus Burst. Um, I, I don't know if I said, but they're all 1000 pieces. And again, this one shares all the same great uh, like details and quality that the other one did. Um, and yeah, it features all these beautiful like close-ups of all these rich colored citrus fruits. And they're so detailed, like you can see all the little pulp and like the sort of veins in the fruit. Um, they just look, it looks really lush. <laughs> I kind of was like craving like fruit salad or fruit juice doing this one. like. Yeah, and I really like this one. It was challenging as well, but um, it was such a very like bright and summery puzzle. Like here in Sydney, it's very cold and winter at the moment. So it was just really nice to do something that's like very bright and cheerful. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one as well. And then this last one, um, I actually did a video on, so I'll link that at the top. Uh, 1000 pieces called Le Macaron. And uh, it's also a beautiful, very delicious looking puzzle. It's a close-up of the close up of all these beautiful pastel, very pretty colored macarons and also quite challenging to put together, but yeah, just really beautiful. So much detail and, you know, like light and dark shadows, brightness, like, yeah, she just manages to capture so much like beauty and detail and texture in all of her puzzles. Um, yeah, I, I love these three so much that I end up getting the other two from the collection. So yeah, looking forward to doing those two as well. But yeah, this again, just yeah, beautiful quality, beautiful image. So yeah, definitely recommend this series. Really enjoyed it. And then we've got here one from Magnolia Puzzles. Uh, this one's just called Alice by the artist Romy Lerder. And I've actually done a few now from this artist. She's got such a like quirky, fun, iconic style with these like female characters with like big eyes and then sort of small mouth. Um, yeah, and I just thought this was a really fun sort of Alice in Wonderland sort of interpretation with all the, you know, bits and pieces of things from the story. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. It's just really colorful. Uh, yeah, lots of fun. And yeah, I, I don't know why I waited so long to try this brand because I've really been enjoying it. I think that it's such an affordable brand for like such good quality. The pieces just fit together nicely. You can do lift up sections, do puzzle pickups. Um, the pieces are like quite matte, even though they're so smooth. Um, yeah, just I've been really enjoying doing quite a few of the Magnolia puzzles lately. Um, yeah, what else? Like, I think I think this one came with a resealable bag. I feel like some have and ha some haven't. I think it probably just depends on maybe when it was made, that sort of thing. Um, but you know, I'm not too bothered by whether it does or doesn't. And 
from memory, there wasn't much puzzle dust either. So fan yeah, fantastic. So yeah, really been loving these. And I think these are really, a really like awesome, like sort of affordable mid range option for puzzles. And yeah, you just great quality. So definitely recommend this brand. And then we've got here a classic Ravensburger, a 1000 piece one. And this one is called Nocturnal Forest Magic by the artist Hannah Carlson. And I have quite a few of her puzzles now. They're just all in this beautiful, very whimsical, kind of very detailed, intricate style and almost a little bit kind of cartoony. And yeah, they're always just so beautiful and pretty and this one's no exception. Um, it's got these beautiful glowing fireflies here and little birds and like tons of little details like beetles and insects and things. You can even see like the fur on the rabbits or hairs and yeah, mushrooms, flowers. Yeah, I really enjoyed this one. It's just so pretty. Um, this is sort of like classic Ravensburger quality. Um, like the pieces fit fairly nicely together. I feel like with Ravensburger though, uh, picking up sections is a little bit hit and miss sometimes, depending on the puzzle. Sometimes the pieces fit a bit more tightly together than others. Um, but overall, like the piece quality is like nice to touch and yeah, very like, you know, nice surface and uh, beautiful like blue board backing and everything. Um, but there's always lots of puzzle dust. So that's probably my uh, least favorite thing about Ravensburger puzzles. But yeah, apart from that, I, they're always like classic and are fairly affordable and they always have beautiful artwork. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one. And then we've got some puzzles here from Mr. Bob Puzzles, which is another Australian uh, puzzle company. So I actually recently did a video trying out a couple of these. So I'll link that up there. Um, so this one is called uh, Mum, There's a Cow in the Yard and it's 252 pieces. And it actually features their uh, new-ish product called Fiberboard, which is like meant to be a more uh, sort of uh, economical and also lightweight version of their classic sort of really thick puzzle wooden puzzle pieces so oh I forgot to mention this yeah all their puzzles are wooden um, yeah so this is 252 pieces so a more smaller piece count um, so the pieces were actually quite large I think just because it was a smaller uh, size in terms of pieces um, but yeah the image is just really fun very comical very Australiana just a lot of silliness and whimsical stuff going on yeah really enjoyed it I thought it was just really like fun and easy to put together and just really colorful um, yeah and uh, this one comes with whimsy pieces um, so like they try to put in pieces that have something to do with like the puzzle image and also Australiana so there was like a cow in here and what else I think like a map of Australia with a kangaroo and um, they always put the, their logo in there as well so yeah lots of fun whimsies um, and yeah they um, the quality is just beautiful the pieces are always like both in these pieces, even though they're actually like thinner than their regular pieces are still very thick. They're like 3.5 millimeters thick. So they're quite substantial and that's, that's still a bit thicker than a lot of wooden puzzles out there. So really nice to handle. Um, yeah, just beautiful quality. And they always come in like a draw fabric drawstring bag. Um, so like no plastic. Um, yeah, and I think, yeah, it came with a little reference picture as well. So yeah, just really had a great time with this one. And yeah, really enjoyed it. I just thought it's beautiful quality. Um, and then this giant one here was the other one I did in the video. Oh, it's much heavier than that one. I mean, it has more pieces, but this is 750 on pieces and it's called Gostwick Chapel. Um, and this is actually featuring their like classic wooden pieces, which are really thick. They're 4.5 millimeters thick, so very chunky. Um, the, the piece size was like more sort of closer to your normal, I guess, like a jigsaw puzzle size, like smaller pieces, but yeah, very chunky pieces. Um, yeah, just again, beautiful quality, lovely to handle. Um, and these ones are actually infused with uh, like essential, like Australian flora, like essential oils. So yeah, really like a fun experience. It is optional. So like if you weren't into sort of strong scents, you could always get it without it, which I like that they give you that option. But yeah, I think it's a fun feature. Um, and I actually just got told that, cause I didn't think that their fiberboard puzzles uh, could be infused, but they've actually figured out how to do it now. So that's really cool. I think they either have put it on their website or will that you can add that as an option for these ones as well. So I'm like, that's cool. If you want your fiberboard puzzles to be centered as well. Um, anyway, so this one features a beautiful, uh, stunning panoramic, I guess, landscape picture. 
featuring the Gostwick Chapel, which is this beautiful, like red leafy uh, covered chapel here and all this beautiful foliage and greenery. Yeah, it was just really stunning to put together. Also very challenging, like almost the opposite of that puzzle. Just very tricky. It took me probably the longest I've ever spent on a wooden puzzle, but still just really like fun to do. And especially with all the whimsy pieces and yeah, again, they put in like lots of beautiful whimsies, like an abundance of them, which was good. Um, always nice when like, you know, wooden puzzle companies are very generous with their whimsy pieces. I think it just makes the experience like a lot of fun and enjoyable. So yeah, really enjoyed these two. I thought they were great and yeah, just beautiful quality. And I forgot to mention actually, uh, the artwork is always uh, like they use only Australian like artists and Australian artwork. And yeah, and all their materials are Australian and they make everything in Australia. So a very Australia focused company. So yeah, it's great to have, you know, a company like this, like a local business that yeah just does everything locally. So yeah, fantastic. So let's pop that there. And then I actually have another Mr. Bob puzzle here, which I surprisingly found the week I was filming this video, I found this in a charity store. So yeah, managed to thrift this for a few dollars. So this is actually a uh, couple of years old. It's from 2020 and it wasn't for sale to the public. It was actually uh, made specially for this company Bunnings Warehouse, which is like a chain of hardware stores here. And they, um, from what I understand, they made it to give as Christmas gifts to their staff. So yeah, really cool idea, I think. So 141 pieces. Um, yeah, it's quite like, I think it's the same thickness as this one. I can't quite remember, but yeah, again, it has all the cute little whimsies. So this one has like whimsies that are like little tools and like different hardware things. So very cute. Um, and yeah, the image is just like a collage of like uh, imagery from the store, including like a dog and you know, different tools and paints and things. So yeah, I think it's just, it was just really fun to do. Um, just a really cute, very quick puzzle. But yeah, I was like super happy to come across this one. I think that was really lucky. So yeah. And oh, um, I think I forgot to mention, they all come in uh, like fabric drawstring bags. And I don't know if this one came with a reference picture. I don't think so, but this one did. But yeah, I think it's nice. They're all like plastic free. And yeah, you know, they just come in this beautiful fabric bag. So you can sort of keep your pieces protected and it feels special and a bit more luxurious. So yeah, I think it's a really, really nice touch. So yeah, glad to find this one. And then the last puzzle from this stack is, oh, it's coming open. It's a lovely 500 piece Springbok puzzle. So this one is called, when I, <laughs> uh, Strolling Ephesus. And it features like these sort of mosaic tiles. It was, yeah, it's a square picture. So very, this is actually the second time I've done this one. I just, uh, I think the first time I did it, I just felt like doing it. But this time I was like, oh, I actually want to put it on my Instagram feed. Um, so yeah, I just redid it and yeah, it was pretty quick to put together. Um, so probably a lot of you have tried Springbok where the pieces are very like big and a regular shape. So it's quite fun to put them together and sometimes a little bit more challenging, especially if you don't do a lot of irregular shape piece puzzles. So yeah, it was definitely fun and yeah, makes you sort of think outside the box a bit. Um, I guess that's the same with a lot of wooden puzzles too. They have like the irregular piece shape. So it's a bit of a different way of approaching your puzzle and thinking about it. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Just beautiful, bright colors. And um, yeah, surprisingly like Springbok, the pieces feel very like, it's like someone got a big sheet of cardboard and just stamped out the pieces. They feel very cardboardy. The edges feel a little bit almost like rough, um, but they actually hold together quite well. Like they fit quite snugly together. Um, but yeah, I guess this was a classic Springbok. I haven't done too many, but it definitely felt very similar to one of the other ones I've done. And yeah, just fun to put together. And even the second time around though, I thought I got rid of all the puzzle dust the first time, but no, there was, there was more, there was more waiting for me. Um, but yeah, I feel like Springbok are just a nice, I guess fairly affordable brand and just, you know, have a pretty good range of interesting images and just sort of a classic, I guess North America, yeah, they're American, right? North American puzzle brand. So yeah, but enjoyed this one, good fun. Um, so we have another stack to go through and then we'll be done. So let's go through this stack of puzzles. So first up is uh, one from a brand that was, uh, that's kind of new to me. I've never tried this brand before. It's called Paper Blanks. And this puzzle is called Humming Dragon, 1000 pieces by the artist Android Jones. And I just, you know, grabbed it from an online a store here in Australia. It was pretty inexpensive, like maybe 25 to 30 Australian dollars, something like that. 
And I just, yeah, like the image and I grabbed a couple others by this company as well. Um, yeah, and I just thought, yeah, the image was just really beautiful, but I'd sort of heard whispers that there was something a bit special about this and they, they weren't lying. This is like one of the most beautiful, like amazing puzzles I've ever put together. I've never seen anything like this. So the pieces are all like, just like an assortment of all different textures. So some of the pieces have little holographic shiny bits, others are like shiny foil. Some just look like almost satin fabric and like, yeah, it's just like so hard to explain, like just a multitude of different like shiny, like jewel like textures and colors. And it's just like stunning. I've, yeah, like I said, never seen anything like it. It was just amazing. And like on top of that, um, the pieces were really nice quality. Like they fit together nicely. You could, uh, I did a puzzle pickup. You could pick up sections. Um, I think there was like barely any puzzle, puzzle dust. Yeah, so just like really nice quality, amazing like finish to the surface. Um, yeah, it was just like, I'm just sort of shocked because I'd like, it's so much like more than I expected for what I was, like I just didn't expect that for the price and for what I was buying. I just thought it would just be a normal sort of matte finish type puzzle, but yeah, really pleasantly surprised. So yeah, I just loved it. Um, which means I'm looking forward to the other couple that I bought from this company because I think they're done in the same sort of way. Um, yeah, I think what else came with a poster, nice cute little size. Um, it's got the full image on the back I should, and a bit of like bio about the artist. Um, I can't remember if it comes with like a resealable bag. Let's check. Uh, no, okay, so I did have to use my own Ziploc bag, but hey, that's fine. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, loved it. I think the only con I had really was that it's so hard to take video or photos of this. Like it just could not capture the colors and the texture properly. Like it just didn't do it justice. Um, so I guess if you like this image, uh, I definitely recommend going out and getting one of these cause they're just like an amazing experience. So yeah, love this one. Um, and then next up we've got a lovely Gibson's one here. This one's paper flowers, 1000 pieces. And yeah, it's just this sort of beautiful collage image of like paper flowers, but actual like plants and fruits sort of thrown in there. And yeah, just really fun and colorful, very cheerful, quite summery or spring. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, this one was on my wishes for ages. So, so glad I like finally got it and finally got to do it. So yeah, really had a lot of fun with this one. Um, although I did find the pieces a little bit like they're quite a smooth finish, but they were had a bit of sheen. So sometimes, I don't know, like maybe it was just the lighting on the day I was doing this, but I did find it a little bit glary. Um, but hey, still got it together in the end. Um, but yeah, the piece fit of Gibson's I find pretty nice. Like their pieces are like kind of chunky, like a nice chunky uh, feel and fit together pretty nicely. And um, I think there was a little bit of puzzle dust. Um, and it is like a small reference picture, probably could be bigger though. Um, but yeah, overall, I quite like Gibson's. Um, I've actually done a video on like a Gibson, Gibson's haul, which this one was in. So I'll link that as well. Um, yeah, but just really enjoyed it. And then next up is a Cloudberries one. This one's chromatic and uh, you can probably guess why I like this one. Beautiful, like rainbow gradients everywhere. Um, yeah, this was just really fun and bright and really like kind of quirky to put together. Very abstract, I don't really know what the image is, but I mean, there does seem to be some little recognizable items like fruits and like plants and vases and things. But apart from that, it's very like abstract and a bit surreal and stuff. But yeah, I really liked it. Um, it was actually way easier than I thought. Like I was thinking with all this grid and all like the things going on, it would be really tricky, but actually I just sort of did it bit by bit and it all came together and yeah. Um, yeah, so this is your sort of classic cloudberries, like pretty nice fit. Normally I actually have false fits with cloudberries, but I didn't have a single one with this. So yeah, that was good. Um, might just be to do with like the, the image, but yeah, I yeah, didn't have any false fits at all. So had a really great experience. And yeah, the cloudberries are always like this sort of nice, it's a, it's a gray board, isn't it? Yes. And they have a sort of almost like a bit of a waxy feel to the top. Um, so they're yeah, like, I don't know, they just feel nice, nice put together, pieces hold together nicely. Um, you can pick up sections. So yeah, enjoyed this one. And not too much puzzle dust either. So that was good. Um, 
But yeah, I guess if you like something colorful and a bit more funky and abstract, this is a nice design to do. So yeah. And then uh, we've got here a, another Australian uh, wooden puzzle. Uh, puzzle. This one's by the company Studio 1760 and it's called Lady and the Dragon. It's 500 pieces. Um, so they're actually like uh, based in the same state as me here in Australia, but in the beautiful Byron Bay area. It's very scenic and, you know, very like beaches and like, yeah, it's just beautiful. Um, there's no actual image on the box. There is a reference image on the inside um, and I'll put an image up here somewhere. Um, yeah, this one was just really fun to do. They sent it to me to sort of try out and review. And yeah, it's a wooden puzzle. Don't know if I said that. Um, but yeah, the image is just really bright and colorful and sort of a very like more modern kind of tattoo-y pop culture style, like features this woman and she's smoking a cigarette and there's like this sort of Eastern style dragon kind of like all around her with like claws and flames and like those sort of like, uh, Eastern style like clouds and yeah, it was like really colorful and just really fun to do um, again lovely quality um, uh, What else? Uh, yeah, just a beautiful like sort of smoky wood smell which you get with a lot of wooden puzzles um, It had like really funky fun um, whimsy pieces. So um, all the each they've got like a few puzzles in their collection and each one's like by different artists I should mention the artist which is Nirvana Selwood and um, the artist chooses whimsy pieces that either like sort of uh, represent them as an artist and their, their style or like have something to do with the image. So a lot of the whimsy pieces were like, you know, uh, it was like a skull and they were like sort of more gothic sort of style crosses and like, yeah, things like that. And even like the way the more regular pieces connected, they were like little crosses and arrows like instead of like a normal sort of tab. So yeah, it was just like a lot of really little interesting, fun details in this one. But yeah, I really love the image. I think they definitely, um, I didn't get to choose, they just sent it to me. So I think they really picked the one that definitely appeals and suits me. So I was really glad to do that one, but all their other images are really beautiful too. And yeah, all the artwork is really quite sort of modern and contemporary and just really like a bit more, I guess, young and fresh and interesting. So yeah, I feel like these would really appeal to like a maybe a bit more of a, younger artsy kind of audience um yeah so in, you know because i think like you do get a lot of you know like things like unidrag and stuff are beautiful but they're definitely like a certain style of wooden puzzle whereas these are a bit more i guess yeah a bit more contemporary um yeah but i just yeah really enjoyed it had a great time putting it together beautiful quality uh yeah it comes in like a lovely drawstring bag and obviously the box is very sleek and looks really you know yeah it looks really luxe and cool um, yeah, so definitely recommend this brand as well. And yeah, especially if you're in Australia and you want a nice gift or like a, another, just a nice Australian brand, this one, yeah, definitely recommend it. Really enjoyed it. And then we've got another brand here, which I was trying for the first time, which has been out for a while. This is Piecework Puzzles and I only finally got to try them, even though like, you know, they've been doing puzzles for ages. Um, yeah, this one's called Rise and Shine and I just love the sort of pastel colors. Um, the whole image, like the big images on the back. Yeah, I just, it was just a, all the images are just really quirky and whimsical and all have like a kind of very retro-y sort of feel, I guess. Like this one's got like an old phone in it. So it feels a bit sort of eighties and it's just got like, yeah, just thing, the, even the food in it feels a bit retro. So it's got all these like uh, bagels and then it's got, like, you know, cut open grapefruits and, you know, black coffee. But then, you know, it's like things like capers or olives or something. So just that sort of mix feels a bit like maybe 70s or 80s. Um, but yeah, I really like the colors in this one, just the beautiful purple background and like the bright yellows and oranges. Yeah, just a really fun image. Um, I've definitely got my eye on quite a few of their puzzle images. They all look really fun and just really quirky. Definitely my sort of thing. Um, and yeah, in terms of like, the pieces well and the quality like the box has this beautiful sort of soft touch finish um, and the pieces feel like the same so it's actually completely matte I should say that like they're very smooth they have this very sort of almost like a sort of soft silicon feel not quite as soft as like art and fable or water and wines that's like you know really luxe and soft this is like a 
I guess, slightly less soft version of that. Um, actually, I talked, I think I did a video on puzzle puzzles. And so if you've ever done puzzle puzzles, they're actually pretty much the same. I think almost exactly the same feel and type of pieces as, as these ones. So yeah, if you like those, you like this and I guess vice versa. Um, but yeah, so it was really nice to handle. Uh, there's no glare because like the pieces are completely matte. Um, what else? Um, came with a reference picture. Um, the only thing I sort of didn't like about, I guess, the pieces is they have a, like a white paper backing. And for, uh, for the most part, like I didn't really have any issues with that in this puzzle. Um, but I definitely have like with puzzle puzzles, I found there was a bit of like damage to the paper and stuff. So it's just not my favorite in puzzles to have the white paper backing, but um, you know, it was fine in this one. Um, and the piece fit in this, uh, they fit nicely together. You can pick up sections. I think you could probably do a puzzle pickup. Um, there wasn't really any puzzle dust, but there was the one thing that I did find that was probably the biggest con was actually, I think it's probably just more, I don't know if it's an issue with the brand or it might've just been like this puzzle or a handful of puzzles was that some of the pieces were cut very thin. So, um, Mm, hard to explain, but like, yeah, some of them were very, very thin. So they probably could easily, part of the piece could probably easily like break off if you weren't careful. So yeah, I have seen that before in other puzzles too, where I think something's happened in the manufacturing where they've just cut it a little bit too thin or incorrectly. Um, so I kind of feel like that probably is not the case with all their puzzles. It might've just been like a one-off. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely still like open to trying more of the puzzles from this brand and seeing what they're like. Um, and yeah, hopefully they won't have that problem. Um, yeah, but anyway, overall, I really enjoyed it. Definitely think these are just really fun and yeah, we just had a good experience. And then, ah, we've got one here from Antelope, which was also a new brand to me. And I did a video on this one. Uh, this is Whisper of Cactus. And yeah, this was just a really uh, fun brand to do. Um, they have like a lot of beautiful images and this one's no exception. I just love the sort of painterly cactus plants and all the flowers and the different textures. And yeah, it was like a really fun puzzle to put together. Not as hard as I thought it would be, um, but there were definitely tricky bits. Um, yeah, so I'm really glad I tried this because it's like actually quite an affordable brand. Like I got this on Amazon and the prices do vary, but like they can be quite affordable. And I thought the quality was pretty nice. Like the pieces um, are fairly smooth, kind of similar to the box, like kind of smooth, but not too shiny, like fairly matte, I guess. And they fit together really nicely. Um, you can pick up sections, um, which is what I did with this. Like I was doing different sections and moving them around. They do have a paper backing, but it didn't really pose a problem from memory. Like it was, it was fine. Um, what else? I can't remember if there was dust. I don't think there was. I did this, I feel like I did this one so long ago that I like can barely remember. Um, but yeah, just really enjoyed it. I think they just have like a really great range of puzzle images and, and the quality is like quite nice. And yeah, I think the prices for these are fairly affordable. So yeah, really glad to have discovered or finally tried this brand. So yeah. And then these are the last three. Um, so we've got a sort of classic 500 piece Gallison. Um, I love the image. I think it's just so vibrant and almost looks very like alive and like wiggly and moving around. And this is actually the second time I've done this one. Um, again, I wanted to redo it and put it on my Instagram feed. But yeah, love the colors, just really bright, pretty, colorful. Um, yeah, just a lot of fun. Um, yeah, yeah, I have mixed feelings about Gallison. Um, they always have the most beautiful designs and artwork, but I always feel a bit hit and miss about the pieces. So the pieces in this were larger, they're 500 piece puzzles. I think most of them are square and have like larger piece shapes. Um, but I found this one, like the paper backing was peeling off some of them and some of them because their pieces tend to be a bit more elongated, like had actually bent, like in the middle it was like a bit thin, I guess. Um, so yeah, I definitely had some bent pieces and things like that. So yeah, not the quality wasn't the greatest, um, but it's fairly predictable. And actually the pieces, sometimes like they sort of hold together well enough that you can pick up sections. So it wasn't, yeah, that wasn't too bad. And Gallison doesn't really have any puzzle dust or much puzzle dust at all. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm a bit of a sucker. I just, 
as much as their quality is a bit inconsistent and kind of annoys me, um, I still just can't get past their beautiful images. So this is one of them. And then I tried a Seiko one, which I have tried ages ago, but I sort of had forgotten what they're like. So um, I figured it was about time to try another one. So this is 550 pieces and there's, I think there's three in the series. Yes, there's like little images here. This one, the series is called Wild Whimsy and I think this one's just called like Ocean. Again, uh, that was my cat sneezing. Uh, again, the, they never seem to have like the name of the actual puzzle. They always just have like the name of the series. I don't know. Anyway, 550 pieces, a bit of a weird size. Um, just a really cute, whimsical, uh, fun little like underwater scene of like, uh, I like it's got like all these colors and patterns. So yeah, different like lots of little patterns going on with the different coral. Um, and yeah, and like lots of cute little ocean critters, a whale, jellyfish, lots of different colorful tropical fish, a stingray, starfish um seahorse yeah lots of just fun things going on so definitely enjoyed the image um again my cat sneezing <laughs> um but yeah the pieces are just sort of pretty cheaply made like very glossy and very cardboardy and um did they hold together uh, not very well i don't think and it was a lot of dust like so much dust bless you um yeah so just not my favorite but it was a very inexpensive puzzle so i kind of figure like i've got a few in my collection which i didn't pay a lot for so i kind of figure if i see their puzzles that have a really cute image and it's a very low price then i'll grab it but otherwise i'm not gonna get too many of them i don't think um but yeah it's fun to do don't know if i could really be bothered getting the other two in the series they're cute but i'm like eh, i think one's enough from this series but still a cute image so yeah and then this last one is one that i borrowed from a friend um this is an australian brand as well it's called reverie puzzles and this one's called bookie streamer 500 pieces and this is my first time trying the brand which is good because i just went and bought three of their puzzles from their new series so i needed to, needed to find out what the uh, pieces were like before i committed um yeah i really enjoyed this one um it just all their sort of puzzles seem to be themed around like books and like sort of fairy tales and that sort of thing. Um, some are like, some of their images are sort of like licensed to do with like a book series or something, but I think this one wasn't. It's just a, you know, like random image that the artist created, but yeah, it's just really beautiful and very uh, pretty and whimsical and very dreamlike. Um, well, it is called Bookie Streamer. Yeah, just this girl like reading books and there's like floating flowers everywhere and flying books. And yeah, it's just really cute, very pretty. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, the pieces are just a nice, smooth finish. Um, they remind me a little bit of Magnolia. They are different, um, but they're that sort of smoothness and not too... They might have a little bit of sheen, but not too much, but they fit together very nicely. You can pick up sections. Um, yeah, just a nice fit. Um, I mean, this puzzle was done before me, so I don't know. There wasn't really too much dust but I don't know how much there was initially. Um, also, it came in this really beautiful thick drawstring bag. So yeah, and um, came with like a nice reference picture. Um, yeah, just really beautiful, really lovely artwork and just really lovely quality. So yeah, really enjoyed that one and I'm glad I picked up some from the new collection. So I'm looking forward to trying those. Um, so that is everything, all the puzzles I did for the month of June. So I picked out a couple puzzles for my least favorite and the one I liked best. So for least favorite, probably no surprise, but it was the Seiko Wild Whimsy Ocean 550 piece one. Um, mainly just because the quality, like the image is really cute, but yeah, the quality is very, it's very cheap. There was lots of puzzle dust. Um, yeah, not that like great to put together, um, but I mean, it is very inexpensive. So you probably get what you pay for a bit. Um, yeah. And, I guess as well, like I can see here, even the box is very cheaply made, like it's sort of buckling a bit here. And I've only done this puzzle once, but there's already the paper on the box is already sort of coming off a bit. So yeah, very cheap, um, both I guess in price and quality. So yeah, that's why this one is my least favorite. And then for the puzzle that's my most favorite or what I liked best, that was a bit more difficult because there were some really great puzzles um, both like in terms of image and quality uh, for the month of June. I just, yeah, really loved pretty much all of them. 
Um, but I end up choosing this one, which is the uh, paper blanks. Is that the brand? Yes, paper blanks uh, humming dragon puzzle. Just because it wowed me so much, like it was just so different from anything I've ever tried before. I was just just blown away by like how beautiful it was and all the sort of that you could even put that sort of texture on the pieces, and also just like even like I guess despite having the beautiful sort of textures and colors and shiny bits it was still a good quality puzzle underneath that like the pieces still fit together really well and yeah and I did a puzzle pickup and there was like no dust and so yeah just yeah like with and without that it's still a great puzzle so yeah I really loved it and I definitely want to try more from this brand and I yeah, definitely recommend this one I think it's just absolutely stunning um, so yeah, if you see this one around, definitely try it. So yeah, the Humming Dragon is my favorite for the month of June. So that was all the puzzles that I completed for the month of June. I think there was a pretty decent amount and quite a good mix there. Lots of different types of puzzles, lots of wooden puzzles. And yeah, I was really glad that I could also do quite a lot of Australian brands too. Always nice to support local uh, puzzle businesses. So yeah, that was fun. And I guess in the comments below, let me know what you thought of the puzzles that I did and let me know which puzzles you did during the month of June as well. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.